When we're laying out a document within Photoshop, it's useful to have some of the key elements like rules and guides in place. And to simply set this up, um, you go into View and click on Rulers. And then as you can see along the top here and down the side, we have the ruler now in place. Uh, this can either be accessed uh, from the uh, view menu as we just showed to you, or it can be accessed from a shortcut which is Control R on a PC or Command R on a Mac. Now once we've uh, got the rulers in place, we can uh, drag simple guides from the ruler by just dragging them into place. and when you get towards the middle of your document you'll find that it will by design snap to the actual uh, middle of the document so again dragging down now from the top as I drag down towards the middle it instantly kind of kind of clicks itself and then it's ready to actually stop now this is really good as far as when we're kind of laying out a, a document to go to print or we're trying to lay out an album uh, these are great ideas so you can uh, kind of control all the images uh, where they're going to be placed so if I wanted to add more guides in towards a document um, I could just drag more in of course and I can just use the ruler on the top to get a basic guide. You can see it's showing me the X coordinates. And when I drag from the top down, it gives me the Y coordinates. So much of the time when you're going to print, you've got to be aware of this kind of buffer line on the edge, which often is going to be trimmed. So uh, again, uh, it's a good idea to actually have this bleed area highlighted to make you uh, aware uh, of the uh, the edges of the photograph that could actually be printed and things. If we want to actually then take it a little bit further of course we want to actually go into the snap to command and uh, make sure that these guides are switched on here. Now why that uh, is good is that basically when we're bringing in an image it means that it's going to snap to the actual guides themselves okay so it's going to uh, work for, uh, for us and uh, allows us to basically just work a little bit quicker. So if I just, um, from the likes of Bridge here, I'll just shrink this down for a minute, and I drag, drag an image in. You can see this is a raw file, so it first of all needs to go through the raw converter. I'll just click Open for now. And then because that is a, um, a place command, as it were, I've dragged it in from a, fold, a folder, or in that case from Bridge, um, I comes in with the place kind of cross hairs here and all I need to do now is actually kind of press my shift key to uh, ma maintain the uh, size and then all I need to do is actually kind of drag them out and they'll snap to the guides themselves. So when we actually then bring in another image I can do that again you can see it's a raw file again so it goes through there and now it kind of comes up with this lovely pink line along the left hand edge there and it's also showing a pink line through the middle of the photograph and what that's doing is actually showing us that it's snapping to both the left hand edge and the middle of the document the new document is uh, snapping to the bottom edge of the background one so once more if I drag up those sides I'm seeing the pink lines again once more here and then I can just double click to actually kind of maintain that kind of straight edge application so when we have got the smart guides uh, clicked on um, the pink lines that come up you can see here really make a difference so if I just take the bottom image again if I just uh, free transform it and then I start to actually put it within the document you start to see several things ha happening here it's snapping to the guides plus it's all also showing the actual pink edges where I actually want to alignment going through and that is why we want to use the guides and rulers when we're setting up a document and using documents and remember that uh, if we want to we can basically take the basic document here and save this so I could file save this I could have a templates folder and just call this template upright and then of course when I need to actually bring it live again I don't have to go through the slow process of um, putting up the, the new guides again so it's all ready to use.